Since I started doing SEO many years ago, I have seen as negative SEO become more elaborate, more complex, and more effective over the years. And with each update, Google promises that negative SEO is going to be eliminated and it's not going to affect websites. But with each announcement that they make, that we're you know disregarding you know negative backlinks or spammy backlinks. The fact is that these methods become more effective because webmasters are not as aware or they're probably not even paying attention to all the negative SEO that's been done to their website until it's too late. And by then, you know, there, there are literally, uh, and by then they're, they're already, the rankings are already tanking or, or tanked to the extent where they've noticed it. And at that point, they really need professional intervention. And that's where someone, someone, someone like me would come in and I would do an audit and I would find what kind of negative SEO has been turned to the website and try to find ways to undo it. But having said that, there's some negative SEO that you can't really undo, but you can try to work on neutralizing. Uh, again, it will depend on the situation. I've, I've had people reach out to me uh, with a ton of negative SEO, which was done to them starting in early 2023 or late 2022. And it's, it's just becoming worse as more and more people are coming to me and looking at their websites and monitoring their websites. And I thought I'd make this video just talking about the five, I think, most effective negative SEO tactics that have been used against websites that were doing very well on Google. And now they've tanked because of those negative SEO efforts so five methods and i also just want to say that I, I offer seo services which are which is now available on my website i also offer website audit services so you can just, uh, click on the link in the description and you can order my uh, website audit service i also offer a topical mapping service which you can also order on the website link to my website is in the description and i'll also put it on the screen so uh back to the topic so the i'm um, one of the most effective, and I would say that still more effective uh, negative SEO tactic is building spammy backlinks. Now, Google said a few months back, or maybe like maybe six or seven months back, that the latest update neutralizes spammy backlinks and that websites will not be penalized by spammy backlinks because they would ignore all the spammy backlinks. But in my experience, that that is not the case. 80 to 90 percent spammy backlinks are still highly effective if those networks are targeted towards your website your website will tank and i'm seeing this um, i would see one a single domain uh, redirecting let, let's say maybe 300 links to us to your website and then 10 domains will be like maybe 3,000 links and over the course of several weeks you'll have several thousand links linking back to your website and they're all low quality links. And so even if Google regards 10% of those links, um, after all, Google is an algorithm and they're made to look in some, in some sense, they're also made to look genuine, like you've already, like you've actively built those links. And if even Google were to regard 10% of those links, it'll tank your rankings and it is tanking rankings. I've seen e-commerce stores being tanked by these spammy backlinks. I've seen service websites being tanked by these spammy backlinks. I've seen websites selling uh, affiliate products tanked by these uh, spammy backlinks because they're so easy to do and these networks already exist that all you have to do is just point the network towards the website and over the course of a month, two months, there'll be several thousand links built to the website and it will, it, will, it will tank your site. Um, so regardless of what Google says, my experience shows that spammy backlinks is certainly something that you should be worried about. The second attack is probably one of the most malicious attacks I've encountered. And mainly what happens is that if the person who is doing negative SEO will scrape your entire website's content, which is now also very easy to do by the way, and they will publish it on a domain that is similar to your domain. So if your domain is abc.com, they will publish it to abc-.com. And what they'll do is, is they'll, they'll make a copy of your website on, the, on, on that domain. All the links, everything, all the content will be exactly the same. 
and they'll not just do this with uh, they'll not they'll not just publish this on one domain, but they'll publish this on several domains. So there'll prob prob probably be several uh, WordPress free WordPress sites. There will also probably be several .dot com uh, .dot coms. There will also be several .dot nets, and usually it only takes like ten of these websites to tank your rankings because when Google indexes these sites. Google sees that this content is not is not uh, original content, and Google also sees that you have the same content. And so, when Google sees that there are twelve different websites with the same content, which includes your website, so Google sees that as it being a being a way to manipulate search results. And so, the algorithm, and this is mostly an algorithmic penalty, and so the algorithm penalizes your website and all the other websites. So, essentially. What this does is this tanks your website um, indefinitely because there's very little that you can do to undo this. Um, and in my experience, it will take a while. I will take very good SEO and identifying what's going wrong to find and fix the problem. But it's a very effective attack. Now, this one is a very new uh, Negative SEO tactic, and I've just been seeing this in early 2023, and this is called a canonical negative SEO attack. And so what happens is this is a uh, it's particularly concerning, and many publications have been talking about this, and also because it's virtually impossible to find who the attacker is, and it's also very hard to undo uh, the problem. And what happens is that uh, with a canonical negative SEO occurs when an attacker scrapes the head section of your website. So whenever you're accessing a website, um, for instance, you go to google.com, the head will load. And so the head has certain assets and certain permissions within it, and it copies that. And so they run an automated program like Screaming Frog, and they'll copy, they'll make a copy of your website's head the meta description and the canonical tag of each page, and they'll duplicate it on their website. And since the canonical tag is included, Google assumes that the page is in fact of your website. So ultimately this results in uh, lower rankings. And it doesn't take a lot of effort to do. And in some cases you can set up this website within two hours and you can tag a competitor within a day or so uh, of, of launching the website um, in some instances even within a few hours so this is a negative SEO attack that I've also experimented with uh, and I've seen that it's, it's highly effective um, but the good news is that it's not being it's not being used a lot but we're gonna see more uh, websites being affected by it and the only way to detect this is with a thorough uh, SEO audit that's the only way um, the next one is forceful crawling. Now this is a lot like a hacker uh, trying to DDoS a website because over here they're also overloading the website with crawlers. And so there are crawlers available that will, that will overload your website by crawling, by sending several hundred crawlers to your website. So this will be maybe several thousand crawlers even in some cases. So the, the software allows you to set the number of crawlers on a website. And what happens is it slows down um, the server, it slows down the website, and eventually it will cause it to crash. And it just needs to cause it to crash for long enough so that people have a bad experience. So Google, Google is not able to crawl your website. Um, and it is do, they just run this on a loop. And so there's no real way of recovering from it. Um, and the only problem the only solution is to maybe have Cloudflare and then have WordFence uh, that limits the number of crawls from crawlers. But in doing that, you will also make it hard for Google Scrawler to crawl your website. You also make it hard for someone who's trying to do SEO for your site to crawl your website. Um, but there are ways to set it, set the permissions correctly so that you know you can have the best of both worlds, but it's important to set the permissions if you have a website that's doing very well, make sure that you're, uh, you know, you're prevent, you're proactively uh, addressing this potential problem, um, because sooner or later there may be someone that tries to attack your website. 
Finally, um, identifying and preventing negative SEO is probably one of the hardest parts of doing SEO because a lot of these tactics have evolved greatly and most SEOs are not aware of how, how they have their work. And so you often need to hire a very uh, experienced SEO who has dealt with uh, negative SEO, who has dealt with helping websites recover from negative attacks and form uh, penalties. And that person will then need to run an audit on your website. And you need to get this audit done every two or three months to make sure you know, that you're proactively finding and eliminating problems with your website. And not just negative SEO problems, but technical SEO problems and SEO problems in general. And so I provide an, an audit service as available on my website. And I do exactly that. I go through every inch of your website. I make sure you know, that every problem is uncovered so that you're aware of it. And then I also try to provide solutions to those issues so that you can, if you don't hire me to do it, you can do it yourself if you're technically savvy or you can hire someone to do it for you. But it's, it's, it's laid out and I, and I strongly advise that you get this done every few months so that um, if, your, if your website is doing very well, it continues to do well and it just suddenly does not start tanking. Or if it starts tanking, I'm able to see that that's the case find out what the reason is and nip the problem in the bud before it becomes a more prominent issue. So I hope you like this video, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.